There are millions or billions? Billions. 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 What is the difference between a million and a billion? One boy can, two boys can tell. Difference between a million and a million. Two of you can tell. What is your answer? Sir, billion is so greater than billion. Loudly. Sir, billion. When you speak, it should be audible to all the students. Now, this girl is not listening to me. Billions is so greater than millions. Billions is? So greater than millions. Still I am uncountable. You understood what he said? Yes, sir. Huh? What did he say? Billion is so greater than million. Okay. One answer is billions will be greater than the million. Right. Your textbook writes billions. You would like to say you have got million or billion? Billions. So your textbook writer is wrong. Right? You can convert that into billions of animals and plants or anything. So he is not correct. Million is not correct. So we cannot use the word billion for animals. Uh, we have to say billions of uh, billions. That is one sentence. What is the next sentence you find very important? In the same paragraph? Uh, they are uh, they variety of the No, you have to tell this. I told you to read that. Sir, like uh, to study them because there are many objects. To study them, they are classified in different groups. You have to classify them, uh, them in different ways. He says to classify. What do you understand by the word classify? classify? He is very short. We always try to stand first than everyone else. I'm glad. But when I look at you, I see you are lazy and you are sleeping. Huh? All right, so you are very good. Very good. All right. Yours, sir. Sir, classifications are uh, separated huge things. Sir, you shout out, isn't it? Sir, classifications means they separate uh, huge things. Why do you do like this? Alright, you get ideas by that? Come on. Sir, classification means they separated huge things in the group. Operate the? Huge things in the group. Operate? Uh, plants and animals are white 
spread throughout and there are millions and billions of plants and animals we tell it as the kingdom. Therefore you are to use the word kingdom. See for example like they uh, in ancient times a small kingdom and empire like that. Oh, we, oh now we are using another good word like empire. Right? Is it better to use empire or kingdom? Yeah. Kingdom is bigger or empire is bigger? Empire. empire. Then why not we use empire? Because scientists felt to use the word kingdom is better than empire. You are very good answer, is very good. Now, you see now, you divide the entire living beings into two important or major groups. Each group we call them kingdom. Two kingdoms. Which are the two kingdoms? And they are not listening to me. You are only putting your hands like that. Which are the two groups? Kingdom plantae or plants? Plantae. Why do they call it plantae? So scientific term. Scientific term. Scientific term. What do do scientific terms are different from English terms? Why? Sir, 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 there are many scientists all over the world, sir. So if someone from Greece comes to here and tells uh, a dog in their language, we will not be able to understand. So there is a scientific, like, scientific, so scientific English. Yep, scientific terms scientific are true. Scientific English is different and ordinary man's English is different, right? So they used to have what's called Greek language. Earlier days, there were not English people, there were not Indians, who did classification, Greeks were there, so 